It is good to be on. We're live another day. It is 9.30 on the East Coast. And I don't want to come in and maybe do some, some conversation. Just some, just some concepts for keys. I think uh, we can pick up where we left off yesterday. I was in the key of B flat. And so I'm going to give a second for some folk to come in. Of course, I don't know who's going to come in tonight. It is a little late. So we're going to see if anybody's up. And if anybody wants to, wants to talk about some piano concepts tonight. But even if you aren't um, up right now, if you're watching the replay, we welcome you in on the replay. So wherever you're joining us, we are grateful to have you. Let me see. We got Valerie. Valerie, good to see you on tonight. Thank you for joining us. Valerie, where are you from? We know where you're from. And anybody, as you come in, you can let me know where you're joining in from. Valerie says she's from Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. I had somebody from Harlem in on yesterday, so it was good to have... New York in the house. So I want to welcome you. We're live on Facebook as well as YouTube. So whether we, wherever you're joining us, um, we, we certainly welcome you into the house. Adam Powell says hello from California, Fresno. Good to have Callie in the house, and that means uh, I think you're you're about uh, three hours uh, behind us, so it's probably about six thirty over over in Cali. But Adam, good to have you on. Um, excuse me if I'm mispronouncing your name, Tafe uh, from England. Good to have you on. Man, good to have you on to Faye from uh from 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 England in the, in the United Kingdom. Uh let me see, let me make sure I'm I'm popping up some of these names so that we we can see them. Uh Siobhan is on. Good friend, good to see you Siobhan. Always good to have you. I appreciate your support all the time. Uh you are always so kind and so we certainly welcome you in the house on today. Um, Will Gamble from Lakeland, Florida, bass player and drummer, but I've started learning keys, just looking to learn, man. I'm glad to have you in the house. Uh, Nicholas, uh, is, uh, is here. I think that's from South Louisiana or, uh, ho hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but Nicholas, good to have you. Uh, uh, V Finn. Good to see you again, man. Always good to have you from West Palm Beach, Florida. So we got Florida. We got Brooklyn. Uh, we got some United Kingdom in the house. Uh, Georgia's here. Uh, so we are we are crewed up. So you all continue to come in. Uh, I know I've, I've got more popping in. We're live on Facebook. We're live on, on YouTube. I want to welcome all of you. It's so good to have you in the house. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be on long tonight. But I want to pick up uh, my conversation uh, from yesterday where I was uh, playing that song, I Really Love the Lord. We were in the key of B-flat. Um, Tafe says, what are your tips for someone who's getting started soloing on piano? Um, that, that's a great question. So, I, matter of fact, you know what I'll do? I will, I will, I will answer that, that question now. Because I think that that question is a good segue to what I'm going to be talking about. I'm actually going to be talking today about the six and approaches to the six. 
Um, but to your question, um, let me see. Um, I want to do. Uh, let me let me go to this. I want I'm gonna go to this. Uh, let me see. Am I in the right place? Go to this one. So let's just talk about some soloing uh, just, just, just real quick. So I had to play a wedding recently. So probably about three weeks ago, I had to play a wedding. And I was I, I was by myself, so I had to do a, a couple things on keys. And um, they were, they the bride was coming in on that, on that R&B song, um, Let's Get Married. So meet me at the altar and... In your white dress. So that song goes from so it's it's in the key of of a D flat, and it's going four, three, two, four, three, six, right. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm voicing that with my left hand because I want to answer your question about soloing. So soloing. Is one of those is one of those conversations that we could just go deep into, but it's important that you have a sense of how certain scales relate to certain chords. Um, that's a great place to really think through soloing. So um, when I'm when, when I was playing that song and I actually had to solo on it, I was I was actually playing something. I was playing something like this where I had a pad in my, that I was playing in my left hand and I was playing like a, a lead in my in my right hand. So what I was doing on this is I was playing the melody of the song first. All right. So anytime you have to solo, that's that that's always a great place to actually start. So So I was I was I was starting off playing that that melody, and then what I was and then what I was thinking about is I was thinking about a scale that kind of goes with um, the the actual song that I'm playing, and so pentatonics that's always a great scale to really work with. So your so your pentatonic scale, uh, where you have your one, you, so you have your one, two, three. Five six. So if you if if you have the solo, that's that's a great scale to start with, right? And I'm, again, that's one, two, three, five, six. And I'm in the key of D flat right now, right? But I don't just want to know that scale from the D flat perspective. If I if I know the numbers one, two, three, five, six, I can apply that to A flat, for instance. Right? And so just knowing that pentatonic scale in those multiple keys helps me when I'm playing the song like that, let's get married. And that's just that scale. can do with that is I can branch off into into other um, uh, 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 chord tones right so I can even if I want to you know play that on a, on an F major but but that's how I would approach I, I would approach soloing so um, to Faye hopefully that, that that answered your question real quick let me let me answer just just one more question and then I am gonna get to what I what I was planning on talking about today but let, let me let, let me just go Siobhan asked me to play uh, a little bit of great is our faithfulness
Bible says. Alright, and that's actually I was I was thinking E flat, but I should have went to a B flat. So great is thy faithfulness. Just, just, just real quick, Siobhan. That's a that's a great song. Um, of course, I'm, I'm I'm playing it kind of kind of rusty. But one thing about that song really is going to swing back around to what I wanted to talk to you all about on today, and that is whenever you're playing anything, let's get married. The great is thy faithfulness. To um, I really love. The, the Lord, you want to know the primary chords that you're going to be hitting. And then you want to know how to approach those chords in addition to knowing how to play those chords. All right. And so one space that I always love to, you know, come up with some different ideas on is when I have to play around the six. Let me go back to the key of B flat for a second. This is where I'm actually going to do some teaching, okay? Uh, so if I'm in the key of of uh, B flat, the six is, is that G, right? So this is my G minor. So when I play a song and I'm playing in the key of B flat and I got to go to that six in B flat, I need to know this G minor. And one of the first things that I want, I said this on yesterday, I want to say it again today, is you want to know your chord inversions. It's so very important that you can, if you need to play the melody with that D, or play that G as the melody, or play that B flat as the melody, you want to be able to execute that. That's a very, very important piece because so many, so many musicians, especially beginners that I that I talk to, they they know how to play a chord one way, and so they end up sounding stagnant. But you want to be able to, if you're playing a G minor, you want to be able to play that in root position. You want to be able to play that in first inversion. And I'm on, I'm going to hold on it just in case you all aren't aren't, aren't familiar with your. G minor chord, and then you want to be able to play that in second inversion. And because this is the three note voicing, um, that's all we have to worry about. Root, first, second. So, so knowing, knowing that whenever you get to the six, you want to be able to play that. And that's with any chord. You want to know, especially a triad, you want to know the root position, the first inversion, and you want to know that second inversion. Then, of course, you want to be able to beef that chord up. And so when I'm playing a G minor chord, one of my favorite ways to beef it up is to play this, this voicing. And this is a great voicing to have. This is one of the first, one of the first G minor uh, voicing that I learned. That, that G minor 9 has such a pretty sound to it. And you want to be able to execute that, right? Um, another way to be able to play this chord is to utilize a tenth in your left hand, where I'm playing that basically, a, basically the, the triad. But I'm going to play the G, the D, and I'm going to play the B flat up here. And and a tenth is always it's always going to be a stretch. But when you can play that 10th, it's going to give you a nice full sound. And what I like to do is when I'm playing that 10th, I like to have that 11 sound. And really, you see what I'm doing is I'm superimposing just the F major chord on that. That's a nice way to play that G minor. So here are all the ways we play the G minor. We played our, our inversions. We played our minor 9. And then we even played a minor 11 stretched out. 
I'll show you one more thing, and this 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 one is for intermediate. One thing that I always love love to do is to have movement in my chord. So I'll do something like this because remember I'm playing a I'm playing an F major chord here, and I'm going I'm going to apply all this to a song in a second. But I'm playing a F major chord here. The way I can add movement to it is I can go from the F major to the G minor to the F major to the G minor. So it sounds like this. And I'll play that over the chord voicing. Soon. That's a really nice approach to that to that G minor. So let's just say I'm in the key of B flat and I'm playing a song like let's say how great is our God. Once I got to that G minor, added some movement to it. And even I even I even added that that little twang to it where I got that A and that C, that G and that B flat. Definitely still that. And I'm using that A flat as a grace note. I want you to steal that. Once you once you know this stuff, now you can add it to stuff. So I I, I can add it. I, I was just playing "How Great Is Our God." Let me go back to that. I really love the the, the Lord. Uh, let me see. to that G minor and played a little twang there. Or I can do, uh, you don't know what he's done for me. And we got A, B, the Vic, the Re. Right, I can, I, I can add that little movement in there. So all of that stuff becomes concept that I, I can use. I can even use that, let's say I'm, I'm playing a groove. minor to G minor. And when I get to that G minor, I can do all that stuff that I was that I was just talking about. So paying attention to how you're playing those chords becomes very important. Let me just give you one more piece and then I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to log out because I only, only wanted to be on maybe about 25 minutes or so. Um, another piece to pay attention to is not just how you play the chord, but it's also how you get to the chord. So how do you get to a G minor? So when I was playing, I really love the, the Lord. I did a chromatic fall from the, um, from the five and I walked up from the D So that approach to get me to, to the to the six is a walk up. All right, so make sure you got that in your in your arsenal. I broke this down on yesterday. Um let me see. So I could I could also play a seven three six chord. Progression. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
but probably my, my, my favorite one is is that one. And that's one, and that one I'm I'm actually gonna break down for you. So here what I'm doing is I've got a I've got a G, a C, a E, and an A. And I'm gonna grace from that F and that D to that G and that E. That's giving me a nice sound. All right, and I'm doing this over a D bass. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lower this G and this E. And this is a this concept you'll hear uh, you know, the first people I heard do this was like Mike Burrell, Jason White, those guys from from the uh, from the West Coast. That's just a nice a nice approach to get to that six minor chord. And again, that works on so many songs. Take Amazing Grace. that same so still that one and please and please use that that's a nice change and it's one of those real subtle movements that you kind of stick in there um, and really uh, really kind of make the hearer try to figure out what it is that you are um, you're, you're you're doing okay so I'll I'll go ahead and I will I'll stop there. I, I, I just wanted to come on just real quick and just and just just give you just some concepts uh, that you can think through and you can add to your arsenal. Um, Alice is joining us from uh, Covington. Alice was on yesterday, I believe. Good, good to have you again. Uh, David Carr says that uh, that arrangement of great is our faithfulness was how uh, fantastic. Thank you, man. Um, and just, just real quick, just real quick, I'll, I'll give you all um, at least some of what I was thinking on that. So I went from that great is, I just went chromatically up. And that's a nice move when, whenever you want to get to that two minor. That was a, uh, let me see, uh, so great is thy faithfulness, oh God my, I'm doing the discord over the one, and then what I'm going to do, I'm, I want to get to a four, so that's a nice little movement to, to get me to the four, that's my first chord. Second chord, third chord, and this is a nice chord to play on the four. I like to play this as tension, so you probably heard me play this chord too, just to add some, some tension, and that's actually giving me the vibe of a, of a diminished chord, but I'm just... I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of going to this flat nine chord so that there is no shadow. Um, turning with the. Let me let me just talk about that movement as well. Um, whenever you need to get to the four, I showed you a walk up where you can go. You can also do a five, one, four, where you're playing that A flat to the D flat to the four. So, boom, boom. And all I did to add some life to that is played it rootless, but I played the chord in my left hand, so I'm playing. 
right? Ernest Tucker says, well, please, with, with your instruction on how to get to the six. Thank you so much, Ernest. Uh, appreciate you being on. Arthur Williams says, I'm sorry I'm late from from uh, from Evergreen, Alabama. What, what have I missed? Um, Arthur, I just went through some concepts of how to get to the, the six. Also answered a question about soloing. So I, I played a little, little R&B song. And now I'm just kind of shedding. Really, I'm just shedding on great is thy faithfulness. So th this really isn't anything that I plan to do. Uh, Siobhan asked me to play great is thy faithfulness. And so I, d I, d I just decided just to show just a couple concepts. With that 514, I can play that my left hand so I can drop that G flat to an F and then I can play this G flat major 7 so but when I'm doing that that's a nice little movement um, I can't remember uh, who who used to do that I, I, I the name um escapes me but i'm just playing an inversion of a d flat chord but i'm using this e flat to grace and i'm going to add some movement playing that d flat so another d flat chord e flat minor chord and then back to a D flat chord. That's right. Remember, I told you in the beginning. This is why inversions are so important, because I can do something like that, but I can do it over this five one four. See how that sounds? So that's something good to practice. If you want to just practice that, first get it in your left hand, then get your right hand playing that. I remember what part of the song it is. So, so that's kind of I can. That was what I just played was sloppy, but I can use that going into there is no um, shadow of turning with these. So. That's really the same move I did in B flat. I'm just doing it in D flat now. All right? Okay, so I won't I won't get too I won't get too deep into that song cuz there's I mean there's so many different twists and turns that you can play in Great Is Our Faithfulness. But um I just wanted to make sure that I gave David just 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 some of those, um, some of those concepts that I was that I was thinking through in there, um, and and if you if you if you all want me to do a deep dive into into great as our faithfulness, let me know, and maybe one of these videos I'll just spend the whole live just deep diving on this song because there's so many different turnarounds, but it goes back to my concept that I gave you: understand the chords you're playing, understand the chords you're, you're playing. And know how to play those chords, so have a different approach to playing them. But then understand how to get there. So don't just have different ways of playing the sixth chord. Have different ways of getting to that six. So I don't just want to be able to play the six. I want to be able to use a diminished chord to get to the six. So those those are are, are, are the types of stuff that I'm that I'm talking through. Um, I got my boy in the house joining me, um, uh, Elder Elder Daniel Stanton. This is my guy uh, from Erie. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be getting him on uh, to uh, sit in one of these sessions with me. Uh, but he's uh, he's an amazing. Um, uh, he is an um, amazing player 
and producer, organist in the city of of, of Erie. Uh, certainly one of my brothers. Good, good to have him on. Arthur says, yes, we do win. Let me know. Um, man, I'm going to actually, I'm going to be on live pretty much every day. So every, 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 every day this week, I'm going to be on, um, I'll, I'll probably get on tomorrow evening as well. So I'll, I'll probably get on between nine and, and nine 30, but I'm going to, I'm going to set up something, uh, so that, so that you can get advance notice so I'll, I'll make sure i post um but i'm i'm definitely gonna go live again tomorrow evening sometime between nine and third nine nine thirty and i'll stay on t- until about 10 or so but i just want to just do some more of these lives um you know just just uh, kind of working through some stuff with you guys answering some some questions uh scott 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 says hey uh, uh my folks from covington uh, George, as a matter of fact, I've got an aunt in, 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 in Covington, so it's, it's good to see some of you all from down south. Uh, I had some folk from the United Kingdom on today. Uh, I had somebody on from, from, from another international location, but it, it's, just, it's just good to have all of you on joining me. Uh, thank you for, for tuning in. I'm going to be doing more of these, so in the comments section, Leave me some questions. What's some stuff you want me to cover? Uh, maybe, maybe some concepts, things that you're struggling with. Uh, let me know that, and um, I would love to uh, spend some time in the live, maybe just doing a deep dive and um, uh, 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 working through some stuff with you. Uh, my guy, <laughs> uh, D said, man, I'm just trying to get in the number. That's my guy. I'm telling y'all. I'm bringing him on here. He 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 gonna do one of these lives with me. Uh, but look, sons of thunder family, I appreciate you joining in. Look look for me tomorrow. I'll be on again tomorrow evening. Let's just matter of fact, I'm gonna call it now. I'm gonna be on tomorrow evening at nine thirty. So if you if you wanna join me live, you wanna you wanna have some questions for me live. I'll be on uh, nine thirty tomorrow, um, and we will we will work through some more concepts. And you all, just just real quick, I love, I love these sounds, man. Uh, love these sounds. I'm playing, uh, I'm playing with uh, Jamal Hartwell's MK Sensation Extreme, like this Judy McAllister Worship Stack. I love this. He got some good stuff for a bump. Yeah, I mean, I just love all uh, the sounds. So if you all are 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 looking for some sounds, uh, just to just to practice with, you don't have a montage, you don't have a, a rolling fan. Uh, I would I would certainly say check out this uh, MK Sensation by by uh, Jamal Hartwell. It is. And even um, even that sound that I was playing earlier. Uh, it's just some. It's just some really good stacks he he has on that. So I, I wanted I wanted to throw that in for you. I would I would encourage you because because some of you always ask me what sounds are you using, what are you playing. Um, this is this is a great one. He actually has this on 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 iPad as well as desktop. I'm playing it on on the desktop version right now, but the iPad iOS version sounds good as well. Uh, so look, I'm out. I'm I'm already four after ten. I'll be back on tomorrow nine thirty. Tap in. Let somebody know. Uh, come with your questions and let's have let's, let's have a conversation all week. I'm I'm gonna be on live and just working through some concepts on keys. So Sons of Thunder family, I'm out of here. God bless you. God keep you until tomorrow nine thirty.